AP Calculus AB curve sketching. It's on from the calculator section of the exam. Uh, I want to be really clear with you about something, and I hope it helps you. I'm reading straight from College Board. It says, while the calculator is required on about half of the exam, students earn credit by demonstrating an understanding of mathematics, not for their ability to press buttons. And is that sarcasm? I'm not sure, but I want to make sure that as we use our calculators to uh, to answer questions that we're making sure that our, we provide our answers back to them explained through calculus. So we have this function f of x and it's x squared times the square root of 4 minus x squared and we're asked to find the critical values. So critical values, right? So we want critical values and critical values are where f prime at x is either equal to 0 or non-differentiable, right? or non-differentiable, so keeping that in mind. So as I find this, as I give my answer on the exam, even though I'm going to use my calculator, I'm going to say I want to find out when f prime at x is equal to 0 or undefined, or undefined. From there, I mean, we're going to move through and use our calculator, and we're going to keep coming back and writing our answers. So here we go. So I'm going to take this function. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm using a TI CAS. Um, this one happens to be a CX. They're all pretty much the same. Go into the calculator section, then I'm going to do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the function. The function is x squared times 4 minus like that, right? Then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this thing out here and hit control store. This is really going to help you. And I'm going to take f of x, f of x, and hit enter, which doesn't seem like much, but in a minute it'll be helpful. Now what I want to do is take the first derivative, right? Because we said that to find our critical values, we want to know when the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to choose calculate, uh, calculus, so it was menu, then four, then pick derivative. We're going to take a derivative in terms of x, right? Because our function is a, is that function, isn't it? So in terms of x, and then here, instead of having to type the whole function again, I'm just going to type in f of x. I'm going to hit enter here. So here is our derivative function, which is kind of messy. And you could do this by hand, but this would get to be a lot. You can see here, this would be a product rule problem with a chain rule problem inside of it. But what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to take my cursor. I'm going to cover this thing. And I'm going to hit control C. Control C is copy. Then I'm going to take my cursor and go down one. Hit Control V, right, for make another version of that thing, right? And then Control Store. And I'm going to save this thing as G of X. G of X. Hit Enter. Okay? So far, so good, I hope. So here we are with this <clears throat> piece right here. And then we're going to just use our calculator a little bit more and say, well, solve this for us, S-O-L-V-E, solve, right, G of X, right, that was our derivative, G of X is equal to zero, so G of X equals zero, and remember, this is really important, we put comma X, which means in terms of X, hit enter, and here are our answers, now, if it's multiple choice, then you can just use this. You could use plus or minus, because these are the same things. So just plus or minus this, zero, comma, plus or minus this, or this. If this was on a free response, what you really have to do is go back to that question right here, and you'd write that in. You'd say that, right, that f of x, I'm sorry, f prime at x is equal to zero for x equals, and then you'd write those values in. So you'd write in 0, comma, plus or minus 2 square roots of 6 over 3. All right? This is really, really important. Because if you don't write that, if you just write in this bit right here, that's not proving you know any calculus. And they're warning us that they're not impressed with the fact that we know how to press buttons on our calculator. All right? Should you write more? Should you write, write what the derivative is? I don't know if you have time, if you have space. Okay, so we have this. So there are those critical values. How does that relate to this question right here? 
Well, that relates to that question right there in this way. So let's take a look at this. If we go back to our, let's go back to our calculator and insert. Go to, I'm going to go to graphs. Now remember that we already saved f of x, didn't we? So all I have to do is here is go back here and just type in f of x. So f of x. I had to type in that whole function again. And there it is. So that's the whole function, which should give you a moment for pause here. They're asking us the range. Well, the range is what's the lowest value and what's the highest value, right? That's what they're asking us on what, what y values are possible. Here we look on this end. I don't think this thing goes to zero here, but it definitely goes to zero right here. So this is all I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to menu, and I'm just going to analyze the graph, choosing analyze graph, and I'm going to choose maximum. It's going to give you this. It says lower bound, so it's left of the highest point, and then a point there. And just to make sure that that's true, I'm going to do the same thing one more time because I see that other place. I'm going to choose a maximum here. I'll choose this value and this one, and as it analyzes it, we have a symmetrical graph with the highest value being 3.08 and the lowest value being 0. Going back to our test, going back to our test right here, and that's what you have to write in. Remember, you can't say, I used my calculator there. You have to say, f of 2 square roots of 6 over 3 is equal to 3.08. That's a local max. f of negative 2 over square root, sorry, 2 square roots 6 over 3 is also equal to 3.08. Those are critical values. And f of that last critical value, f of 0, is 0. So our range inclusively, right, inclusively is on the interval 0 to 3.08. And it's on a closed interval because these heights exist, don't they? Okay, so I'm hoping you're studying and remembering that the AP graders will not give you credit for saying, I used my calculator.